We're back from the dead, obviously. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you go to an SUG. Yeah. I did. We haven't streamed in a whole one day, so well, that's practically internet dead. It's true. It was funny, actually. Um, that whole uh, that day, that that um, that Whataburger we had when we got back, that was the mm. first meal I had that day. Really? Sheesh, dude, you gotta stop, man. Yeah, well, some food. I wasn't hungry. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I guess if you're not hungry. Yeah, the entire show, I was just like, I'm not hungry at all. That'll happen to me, actually, like, when we're at shows. Yeah. And I'm just, like, drinking coffee and, like, an energy drink most of the day and not really doing much. So, like, it, well, it depends. It depends on the show. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll be, like, absolutely starving and you're like, I'm not hungry at all, you know? Yeah, yeah. I ate 76 hours ago. Yeah. You yeah. know? It's weird. <laughs> Uh, and then sometimes I'm just not you're kind of leaning in a little much there we go thank you um yeah no it's also like I don't know yeah I don't know when I, I don't get tired as much definitely at the booth as you do because you'll just be like man I'm so tired you know yeah I get I'm tired like, bro my adrenaline is I'm going <laughs> as long as people are coming like to the booth and everything and we're making money I'm just like no, I'm fucking gone. I'm going. That's it. Oh, I'll stop. And then the second we walk away from the booth and get to like a car or some a room or something, I'm just like, fuck, I'm actually dead. <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I feel you on that. <laughs> That'll happen to me. My, my problem is, is that when I get back to the, the house or wherever we're staying, mm -hmm. it's like, all right, well, the tired needs to go away pretty quick or else I'm not going to get these commissions done. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh that's probably why I'm tired at the booth is because I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be really tired right now. But once we get back to the house, mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to wake up. Right. It's probably just like that's how I've mentally uh, trained myself. Mm -hmm. Be tired then, not later. Yeah, right. Don't, don't you dare be tired <laughs> after the... Yeah, it's kind of weird because sometimes we'll be there and I'm just like, Damn, I'm so tired, but it seems really rude to just fall asleep while he's up working. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's whatever. You know what I mean? No, I feel like, you. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like, I just fall asleep and you're just, like, still there working, you know? It seems a little rude, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's whatever. Again, so. like, that's how it's going to go. Like, we're both doing whatever we need to do at, at the designated times of the day. Yeah. What is our current mood anyway? Uh, obviously, darling of culture. Oh, perfect, yes. Yes. I love when she says darling. It was so cool to hear her say that live. Oh, oh my god. Imagine, yeah. Oh, when she said it live at the thing, it was crazy. Oh. Uh, Rush, it was wild. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, because they were at a panel, and that was apparently, like, the first time I think they'd even been at a show. Or been, I think the show they were at was, like, one of the few times they've ever even been together at the same show. Oh, wow. Something like that. And so they were, like, they redubbed a scene from the movie. Like, they, the scene was playing, and they just went over it live. Nice. It was pretty sick, and it was really funny, because they were underwater. Like, uh, Ataru was underwater, so Cape was, like, going, like, like kind of doing, like, a weird lip thing to make him sound underwater. It was really funny. And that was where he was talking about how he wanted to be... Um, um, uh, uh, Kenshiro. Kenshiro, yeah. Because isn't he ace? Huh? No, 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 he's Shin. Shin. He's Shin. I don't know which character is Ace from Fist of North Star. All of a sudden, I forgot. No, 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 no. Ace from uh, One Piece. Oh, yeah, Piece. from One Piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's yeah. why I was confused when you mentioned that. I was like, that's not related to Fist of the North Star. But it is related to the actor. Yeah, but it's just kind of weird when I was like talking about Fist of the North Star. I was just so I was asking me off there. Well, yeah, because uh, I remember you were talking about that uh, when they were doing that scene, there wasn't a dry eye in the studio. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I meant he did the uh, Kenshiro like. Yeah. Ah, da, 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 yeah. He did like his version of it. Like that was really sick. I 
I do remember when, uh, what was it, Future Funk was really popular. Oh, yes. They'd all say, like, who's the Future Funk girl? Yeah, I also saw them with a picture with a Kane where someone was like, they, they had drawn her and they're like, I drew the Future Funk girl. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. The kids. These kids. Respect the classics. Respect the classics. They don't even go Google it. They don't even Google who is the Future Funk girl. Well, it's because no one on the internet could tell you. Yeah, right. <laughs> no one on the internet remembers. What anime is Future Funk from? <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not as bad as asking what anime Hatsune Miku is from, but man. That shit is funny every time. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do remember we get, did that joke to that one girl, and she was like, I, it's not an anime. Like, yeah, she didn't, yeah, she didn't get it was a joke. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Aliens. Right? Fashion icon. It's true. Yeah. Why do you think everyone wears uh, uh, tiger, tiger stripe stripes? Bikinis. Yep. <laughs> tiger stripe bikinis, man. I was tiger like, stripe man. bikinis, obviously. Obviously. There's an outfit that she wears. Uh, there's like a poncho outfit that she wears that I love. Mm. She has a poncho on. Let me try to find a picture of that. She'll wear that a lot. Okay, like almost nothing comes up. But, but there is at least one picture of it. It's a picture on Twitter randomly. Oh, I think it's because it's called poncho on. Because I wasn't me. Because I'm a gringo. So I spelled poncho wrong. How did you spell poncho? I spelled it with an A because I'm spelling it like it's Japanese. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> it's like... How the fuck do you misspell poncho? I spell it like poncho. Yeah. <laughs> Not that... poncho. That's really funny. <laughs> it would be poncho. <laughs> <laughs> that's really fucking funny. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not pronounced poncho. <laughs> Yeah, this. See, she has a poncho that she'll wear. Oh, yeah. And sorry, a bunch sorry. of stuff. She'll wear this little every now and then. That's really funny. It's not poncho. Yeah, it's poncho, not poncho. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I had to go to the Japanese spell, <laughs> you know? How's it going, Ash? That's a very common mistake I'll make sometimes. That's really funny. Just from being too much of a weeb. Yeah, no, I fell with you on that one. I was trying to think about it. What was there was one thing I was a be uh, like, oh shit, I'm a weeb. A There's a few things that I've done where I'm like, mm -hmm. oh shit, I'm a fucking weeb. No. Yeah. Because there are some words that I just can't ever seem to spell in English because I keep thinking of them in Japanese, like the way the word the letters would go. Oh, speaking. Uh, so I think diamond is like that. Where I always go to misspell diamond in English. You spell it like dia. I spell it with an a first. You know, like d a. Isn't, Isn't it d i? No, it's d i. A d a d a. I thought it was d i. No, I'm pretty sure it's d a. It's like diamond or something, right? Or something. I can't remember how you spell it. This is how I always fuck it up when I try to write it. No, I'm pretty sure it's d a d a i. Uh, no, it's d i a. Really? Yeah. Huh. Told you. That's why I always fuck it up. Huh. Then I guess I've got that wrong, too. Because I always want to spell it like it's Japanese, with die, you know? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like that. Because in my head, I'm, like, looking at the word diamond and pearl, mm -hmm. and the A and the I are constantly switching. So, yeah, that makes sense. You're just finishing up uh, dinner and endlessly emailing vendors. Nice. Sounds fun. Oh, for uh, the wedding venue? I'm guessing. Uh, that also is funny though. Ash dropping in. Uh, Tyler's watching uh, Geki Ranger. Oh, is he nice? Yeah, he's like, I like everyone except Red. <laughs> <laughs> Red's fucking cringe. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. But he's like, right? <laughs> you know? That's funny. It's kind of like funny because yeah, out of all the characters, I'm like, well, you know, honestly, <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. But, 
cat was like, wait, I love John. How dare you? <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Nah, I mean, he's fine. Don't get me wrong. I can understand where uh, where Tyler's coming from though when he says Geki's kind of. It's <laughs> like he's one of my favorite reds. This is funny. It's just because um, wild dude, man. I know. I think the reason he doesn't like him is because he's like that the wild man type mm. who doesn't understand. Um, what is it? You know, it, it, it's Tarzan. You know, gotcha. The fish out of water thing. Um, what the fuck? I thought I had more ink files. Am I out? You really out of, do you really run out of ink on stream? No, I mean, I've got another brush and a different type of brush pen. I just was like, I thought I had more uh, more ink from this for this series. Hmm. Oh, well. I can go buy some more. some of this stuff down here on the floor anywhere? No, no. Of stuff. No. no. Okay, just checking. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, I was thrown off by this, this too. This doesn't usually happen to me. It happens to most men, but not me. Yeah, it happens to most men, but not me. What is this? This is Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I wasn't out of ink. You were just hiding it from yourself. I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to... Or were you testing me? Is that what it was? No. <laughs> oh, well, I, yeah, I have to test you now because you're, you're, you have sought to betray me. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, since now I need to betray you, according to Louie. Yeah. And I know you listen to Louie so often. Oh, you're right. Uh, let's see. Ash says, by the way, speaking of Sentai, what do you guys think of Don Brothers? I love the plot, and I fucking hate the seeing scenes. the bird and the dog guy on screen. Yeah. Uh, when they're not in their, like, practical effects forms that yeah. they'll use for, like, some of uh, close shots. Yeah, the practical effects always, like, I'm like, ha, practical effects. I love it. Yeah. You know, it's like... Because there's some shots they'll use, you know, if they're up close on their helmets and stuff like that, they'll just use, like, a helmet they have. Or yeah. There's, like, a shoulder kind of shot they'll use on the bird guy a lot yeah but man does the bird guy look pretty shitty when he's fighting he's just kind of like doing weird kicks and stuff and yeah. the dog guy looks too stupid like he's basically just someone's like sonic the hedgehog oc but i gotta tell you i love that the sonic but, hedgehog oc guy is edgy as fuck oh yeah no he actually is edgy like which is really funny yeah that is like the characters are really good so, oh, you've fallen really far behind on Revice because your friends and I keep having conflicting schedules. Just watch it without them. Just watch it without them. They can catch up later. The Revice is too good right now. Yeah, I know. It's been really good. But, no, I really like the plot and everything to Don Brothers. Um, yeah, so far I've been like, yeah, no, this is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it, it's very good because it's not like any other Sentai. There's much more of a mystery going on and all yeah. this other stuff. It's a lot more character focused too. Yeah. Like in a sense of like you know like how Sentai are character focused, but in a much more like what's the word I'm looking for? Um, surface level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like like we were talking about, it's interesting that Red is not the POV character. Yeah. Or that there's even more of a POV character. There's normally not really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Usually it's like very focused on everyone. Yeah, it, it's no one's really kind of the. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, I don't mean. It's kind of tough to explain. Yeah, know? there's no actual like you know POV character because again, it's the whole focus is the team. Mm-hmm. So like that's why like most of the like the only time it really matters is when you get to the roll call, mm -hmm. and this one doesn't really have a roll call. Uh, yeah, no, they still don't really do too much of that. They don't do the roll call. They don't always fight. Oh, they actually had an episode where they didn't get into the giant robot. Yeah, that episode was weird because I don't know how the robot rules work yet. Because they beat that guy and he didn't turn into a robot, I think. Yeah. And then the next one they beat and they did turn into a robot. So. Yeah, again, I don't know yeah, the rules either. Don't get me wrong. That part was a little weird. Um, you're liking it as well? That's good to hear. Yeah, like I said, I like what they're doing, and I like a lot of that stuff, so... Yeah, it's it just sucks, because, like, uh, bad CG is much more funny when it's a bad show. Yeah. Uh, and when it's a good show, it's more detracting and distracting, mm -hmm. and you're just like, ah, this should be good. Yeah, it's like when there was the CG uh, scenes in the first um, Zombieland saga, in the first yeah. season, yeah. and they were so bad-looking that it just, like totally broke my immersion from the show yeah no definitely you can agree yeah because you're, you're like oh this is really good and then all of a sudden they're like really bad cg models like they were i hated their shape they had like re just really lazy like quote female shapes yeah you know especially like yugiri's shape yeah. was like fucking whoo you know pretty much yeah 
So it, it really took would take me out of the show because I'd be like, because that's what you would have to say to recommend to people too. It's like, look, there's some pretty bad CG when they start singing, but the rest of the show is really fucking good. Yeah, because I think we had someone say they couldn't get past the CG. Yeah. I think someone did say that to us. Yeah, I've heard someone maybe. say that. Yeah, I'm interested to see also how this relates to Zen Kaiger, because, like... Yeah, that's what I'm wondering about, is what's the deal with this, like, Kaito and Zen Kai Black and all this stuff? Because it's barely come up, like... Yeah. And it's just, like, kind of there, kind it's of... It's there in the background, like, what is going on, you know? And also, I do love the fact that he's, like, she even said, like, full power, full... Like, she yeah. said Zen Tok Zen Kai or whatever. Yeah, she said, like, the catchphrase. And he's, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, so... Yeah, I, I really want them to get to, like, what is, like, going on in this world very soon. Mm-hmm. That's my only thing that I'm really waiting for. Yeah, that's basically the only payoff I really would need right now is to know what's yeah, going on. I want more info on the villains, like those villains that appear. The, okay, I'm not, I, 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 I've been feeling this every time we watch it, but the guy who turns into Kage Star, he creeps me out. David Bowie? Or no, the other guy, the other guy with the spear, right? Yeah. Yes, that guy is kind of creepy. Because his face reminds me of the villain from uh perfect blue <laughs> what no he does he doesn't look like that guy at it, all it looks like if someone tried to make that guy attractive now i get what you're saying okay yeah that's that's my my gripe is that this guy okay. it looks like uh, he looks like that and or maybe one of my sleep paralysis demons i don't that's know that's funny i just like that the blue guy looks like some crazy david, david bowie, bowie yeah. shit yeah <laughs> he just straight up looks like fucking david bowie or something yeah, again, there's, like, a lot of stuff going on in this, but you're just like, where are we going? Someone help me. Guide me. <laughs> um, and this, man this magic adventure we're going through. Yeah. Yeah, I just want some more info on, like, why is this stuff with the villains happening? Yeah, and why is uh, Red's dad is stuck in space jail or cyber jail matrix jail he, bro he was cyber guilty oh my god he was actually factually fucking cyber guilty. i can only hope that this means that they're well it can't happen because it's a toho product but i i want them to make a reference to uh to uh cyber cops cyber cops but they can't because yeah. it's toho now it's, it's toho it's not uh mm -hmm. not something we can do yeah he's just in that weird Matrix prison with RAM chips surrounding him. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't make any sense. The sweet opening. No, that opening is so good. The ending, I like the ending better. I think. Uh, no, I like it's a tough. It's a tough toss up because the full version of the opening has like some really sick parts in it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I remember so. I was listening to that the other day, and I was like, yeah, this is a this is a like the the TV size version does not do the song justice at all. Especially because the ending plays with the preview, so yeah. you can't really hear it. And then also they don't have like an ending dance like, mo like it's weird actually I think it's been two years in a row we haven't had a dance yeah they don't have an ending dance they have an opening dance yeah because Lupat didn't have either that's true actually yeah because Ryu Soldier did yeah, yeah. um and then uh, they got they stopped after no did they yeah they did one for Cure Major yeah Cure Major has an ending dance yeah, yeah. it's fucking fire yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's, sorry it's been a minute uh Mirakuru. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, no, never mind. Uh, I do love it anytime they had like the what was it the little short gag in mm -hmm. between the ending theme because I yeah I never put it on yeah I, my favorite fucking gag is still when it was um when it was when it was the blue has that stalker episode oh yes and then the stalker totally falls for pink that was hilarious yeah and no, that shit was fucking hilarious. I remember we showed that to fucking uh, Sabrina oh, yeah, and Ellen. Sabrina loved that one. They fucking flipped. I also remember because that was around when we started watching it with them. Yeah, and I do remember also it was really funny uh, when we got to, uh, we watched the Christmas Sentai. And we watched Lupat's Christmas episode, and they look and Ellen just looked at me. He's like, "Wait, there's a Persona Five Sentai, and you've never told me." Yeah, I was like. Honey, when is that ever gonna come up? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why would why would this have come up in a conversation? Yeah, like <laughs> this is what I was like. There's 
And it's funny that that's the first episode they watched, and it shows oh, yeah. that, like, the cops figured out their identities. Yeah, yeah. But also, it's just funny to be in this phase in it now, too, where we're at, because this is the part where, basically, it's mutual pining between fucking Red and Ray. <laughs> Uh, or I don't know the way, the way I know what you mean it's yeah. just like re- uh, fucking cop is like trying really hard to get Kyrie to open up to him yeah and it's just like Red's not having it because he just he knows that he's yeah. the thief and all this stuff and you're just like god for Christ's sakes mm-hmm. something happened <laughs> yeah 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 so I can't remember this Oh, I couldn't remember if this ink is the one that runs. I know this doesn't run in uh, alcohol markers, but I couldn't remember if it possibly runs on uh, watercolor. So I'm going to play it safe and just do marker. So. Well, just remember, these colors don't run, and then I pull out the American flag. <laughs> uh, I only sigh because I saw someone today that had the... Uh, oh, were you giving her the funky rainbow hair? Yeah. Not just the full-on anime green hair. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I actually like the rainbow hair. The more. I do too. I I think she has some cool ones. The ones where it's like all pink are kind of interesting too. Yeah. I just I like the rainbow. So hair. yeah. Uh, but so I saw somebody with an American flag truck, and then they had mm-hmm. like the 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 blue police one, you know. Yeah, yeah. The the black and blue one, then. Mm-hmm. All Don't the... tread on me unless it's on my balls, please. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Those flags. <laughs> yes, those. Yes, I, I guess. <laughs> Can't relate suddenly. No, no. You know what I'm talking about with the snake or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's just funny to say that. Suddenly, I can't relate. Weird. But, um, yeah. No, Dawn Brothers is really good. I'm actually really liking it. Yeah, same. Also, anytime Oni's sister gets kicked. Oh. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yes, dude, that laugh. <laughs> matsuri, matsuri. Right? It's a festival. Oh, man. Oh, did you watch all of the ones where he was there with... Um, with uh, with uh, Deno? Yeah, from Deno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, I saw those. those were hilarious. Those were great, yeah. Absolutely. You know you can uh, use your pudding on your toast. Make your French toast with a pudding. Like pudding French toast. That was so funny. He's like, oh, my God, you're a chill. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's fucking funny as shit. Anytime they, like, like Momo... Uh, that was so funny. Uh, Those are just little shorts, but they're hilarious. Oh, yeah. That guy looks like he could use some help. Mm-hmm. And he just comes in on the... Yeah. <laughs> Wah, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime that Yellow got kicked. Oh, Dude, like, yes. Yellow getting kicked just cracks me up. I told Devin I wanted to get Fatal Push altered to be Yellow. Yeah, no, I was kicked. there for that. Oh, were you there for that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this I, fucking Oni sister gonna be kicked off the ledge. I also thought it was fucking hilarious to see like her. Everyone's like, everyone who didn't talk to her was like, "What? Are you gonna plagiarize again?" Yeah. <laughs> just giving her shit. And... Yeah, everyone's giving her shit. Yeah. Yeah, and she's like, "Does no one want me to write this manga?" Because she's trying to like. She... Oh yeah, when they were all being held captive, quote unquote. Oh, yeah. No. Now, Ellen and Sabrina were dying at that shit. Oh, yeah. Because she's just like, this is going to be the perfect material for my manga. Yeah. It's like, this is such a rare chance. Yeah. I never, I'll never have a chance like this again. I mean, when are you going to get a chance to be an old captain again? Yeah, and it was going to be like Princess of Basketball, that other manga yeah. she was working on. The Princess of Basketball. God. That's like the less cool version of the lesbian golf anime we watched. The, that lesbian golf anime. That lesbian golf anime is sick. That one was a lot sillier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I didn't know how exactly it would play out, but I actually was kind of getting into it. Yeah. Well, I was definitely getting into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they were doing the crazy, like, the night golf match for money. Yeah, the That girl shit. was in disguise with that fucking Hisoka, like, clown, clown mask. mask on. Yeah. I was like, I want more of this, but I think it's going to be more on the up and up is my guess. Yeah. Because I'm guessing she's going to have to play in this big tournament that's coming up. Yeah, she's going to lose to this person probably. Because that's even in the preview. is like, what happens? Oh, obviously I win, you know. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, sure, buddy. So. Okay, I believe you. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things where you're like, yeah, sure, man. Because mm-hmm. yeah, that, that's just standard. That's like the standard. Oh, we need to get this character moving in a different direction. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of stuck in their life, you know. So yeah. They need to do something else, and now someone else showed up, and they're gonna challenge them. 
Tony said he's down, by the way. Oh, nice. He said, we prob he said we collectively probably have enough cards. Uh, so we'll see what that means uh, later, I guess. Yeah, we'd have to go to his place because he's yeah. going to have all the commons and uncommons. Yeah. Or wait, they don't have uncommons in this game, do they? No, no, no. No, no. They have rare. No, they common and then rare. Yeah. Rare is uncommon. Actually, rare is semi common. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because super rare is basically the rare now. They don't have rare anymore, actually. No. Don't they just have just super rare? They just have super. Yeah, so they don't even have rare anymore. Yeah, the rares are really weird in this this, this franchise. Uh, yeah, card rarity. Yeah. It's really weird that the just rares don't exist anymore. I'm it pretty is, sure yeah. they don't. Yeah, like at all. In any no. Because um, the only it thing was that... to stop scaling. Yeah. Which you can still scale. It's a little no, you harder. can't actually. It's a little harder. You can't. I've seen people try it. It no. just doesn't work. No, I want to believe. No, because they don't have um, like ultimate rares and packs either or anything anymore. Oh, that's right. Yeah, ultimate. That's why those are so expensive though. Now. And I don't think like the starlight rares are heavy enough or frequent enough that it would matter. No, probably not. So it's pretty much impossible now. I yearn for a simpler time. I really do too. I yearn to cheat the system. Me too. Things were so much better back then. My pulls were so much better. <laughs> I got a foil in every pack. <laughs> now you get a foil in every pack, actually. And it's miserable. And it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it was bad enough back then, honestly. Honestly. Uh, that's funny. But... <laughs> oh, Ash, you need to watch Love After World Domination. Yes, you will love World o that one. That yeah. one is, uh, I highly recommend that one. Yeah, it's the Toku rom com. Yeah. It's the Forbidden Romance. Of the anime was so funny. Yeah, no, I'm so excited for more of this. Also, apparently, so Green, the, the person that Ellen uh, was like in on. Oh, yeah. Apparently he voices a character in Dramatical Murder. Oh, nice. And uh, I was like, who is this character? And she's like, this character is a piece of shit. <laughs> and like, not in the fun, good way. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, uh, sorry, that guy's, that guy voices green. <laughs> and like, I just got an ellipses back. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's funny. And I'm like, I'm, I'm so sorry. She's just like, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's not his fault. He needed a job. <laughs> I'm not going to fault him for this. That's great. It's on your to watch list? Okay, good. And Kaguya came back, so we got to watch that too. Oh, man. That was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Fuck, was that funny. Oh, man, I've been waiting for that shit forever, man. Like, oh, man. Like, it started up again, and I was like, God, I've missed this so much. <laughs> right? I have missed this series so much. Because we watched the first season twice. Yeah. Because we watched it with Ellen Sabrina. Yeah. You know, so... Because we watched that, and then we watched the second season. And yeah. it was, like, so much of it, like, in a row for so long. It was yeah. just a part of our lives. You yeah, know? no, I feel you. It was... It was rough having to see it go, because I also thought watching tomorrow with your friends. Nice. Because again, I love uh, the way they like brought it back. You know. Oh yeah, the way they just started the season was hilarious. So. And then the the we got Japanese Barry the Manilo. Yes, he's still doing the opening. Thank God. Right. <laughs> Thank fucking God. I had the... that video was really good. I liked it. They went out back to some more of the tricks from the first one. Yeah. Daddy, daddy, do. Yeah, oh, she in. I just don't remember what the I third one is. I don't know the new one yet. I was listening yeah. to it some earlier, but I could not sing it. Yeah, it's like, it's not there yet. I yeah, I'm going to need about another like two weeks. Oh, love me. Oh, love me, mister. Hey, oh, mister. I still just want to edit that to be Mista from fucking, uh... Part 5. Yeah, Part 5. That was so funny. Because he has a gun, too, you know? So he yeah. can fit right into yeah, that yeah, opening. Yeah. <laughs> like, just put the colors and effects over him and shit. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. I'm so excited for more of Ishigami, too. Ishigami is so funny in this season. Nice. Uh, uh, this part of the story. Yeah, I know, like, there's a lot more with him yeah. now that, now, uh, the later you go. So. Yeah, because he's, he's a character that, like really grow. He told me that. He gets a lot of development. Yeah. I do love that he's just fucking shitting on 
<laughs> on his on, uh, on Fujiwara. Yeah, anytime like yeah, Fujiwara is like she's really like, funny, she's... but she is not a good person. No, <laughs> she's not a good person. No, she's a spoiled bitch, and I love it. Yeah. She's a fucking spoiled bitch. Chaotic. Yeah, no fucking way. She's chaotic, chaotic. It's great. Yeah, no fucking way. She is a, a pure chaotic being. Mm-hmm. But no, yeah, that, that was great to watch again, too, so I'm excited. Yeah, and then uh, Spy Family was good. Spy Family was so good. Oh, it was such a good uh, just first episode to watch. I really yeah, enjoyed. everything had, like, banger openings, too. There were so many good songs. Like, yeah. even just the background music. Oh, yeah. But the background music in Spy Family was awesome. The Same with the, the fucking uh, golf anime. Yeah, the golf anime had some sick fucking tracks. Yeah, holy shit. And the opening for a fucking Love After World Domination? Yeah, that was really good. Holy fuck, man. Like, that they actually did, like, an actual kind of Sentai-style sound? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> The Gelato Five. Dude, Gelato Five. It was funny though. I was you like, watched the first episode of Spy Family during dinner, and you loved it. Awesome. Yeah, Anya is the bomb. Anya is the best character. Oh, Anya is great. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. I can't wait ever. Because I was um, what was that guy? The guy we know did that for art for the A. Yeah, thing. he just used that face for the A. Yeah. badge because no one read the manga yet. Yeah. So I was... he could easily get away with it. Yeah. And then everyone's gonna be like. Wait a fucking second. <laughs> Wait, oh, I've seen this face. This is the Diesel Master of Dragons situation. Always is. To happen. Always is. You know? You're always one step away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Anya's the bomb. Like, seriously, she's so fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Such a derp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's also chaotic evil. <laughs> oh my god, she can do some evil shit. She's really funny. She's just fucking chaotic, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's fucking hilariously chaotic. Yeah, I can't wait to see all the cosplayers now. Oh, yeah. And I gotta do a piece. I was trying to think of, like, a good spy movie to look at. Like, a spy film, uh, uh, like, movie poster. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like you can do a really good design if you try, like, uh... Oh, yeah, there's a lot you can do. Because the promotional image that I was thinking, uh, that the, the image I wanted to do was used in a promotional image. Oh, really? Yeah, where it was like, I wanted to have them up top and then underneath, like, them normal and underneath in the reflection, it would be them as their, uh, um, you know, their secrets. Yeah. But you, someone, they, they did that as a promo, uh, official promotional thing. And I was like, fuck. Mm hmm. Son of a bitch. Right. I'll go sometimes. All right. That's funny. The reason I'm actually drawing Lum uh, for those of you at home is because I uh, someone bought the other Lum that we had, so I was like, ah, finally I can redraw this. It's been, mm -hmm. it's been years. <laughs> That was like an oldie. Yeah. Plus, there's going to be a new show randomly, which is still really weird that they're just like out of nowhere making another show. Yeah, but I'm a little worried. I had not heard anything about that. But it's David Productions, though. Oh, then it'll be probably fine. It'll... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's David Productions. I saw that earlier. Okay. I was like, whoa, what? I didn't know it was them. Yeah, because, okay, now I'm not as worried. Cause... The art style looks a little different, though, I think. Yeah, but that's... Definitely is going to, because that's from the 80s, so it's yeah. going to look completely different. Even if they try to make it look the same, yeah, it's it's, not... it won't. It won't. Um... Yeah, because that's how those Rumic World OVAs are, where they're like... Try, but it's so new, it looks so weird. So yeah. I think they're going to change the style up a little bit. Which makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm totally fine with that. It just seems like such a weird thing to bring back. I don't know, maybe it's an anniversary. Uh, probably. Or something. Wouldn't be shocked. Like some sort of big anniversary, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, no, the, um, 
My only con- my my concern was was that it was gonna be like etchy. You know what oh. I mean? Oh. Like they were gonna like because you know like how it, it it's there's like nudity and shit in it, but it's not like done in a way that's like yeah, oh you're yeah, supposed to yeah. like jack off to it. You're supposed to be like ha that's funny. Yeah, it's really not that like etchy of a series at all, really. Yeah, but that's why I'm worried because they have a character who is wearing you know the bikini. Oh, bikini all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's basically just my concern is that will we mm-hmm. will we end up having um someone just kind of like now nah, there's nothing but shots of her ass. And... Yeah, nothing but her, yeah, her ass in every other shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't really used to be that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, because this was originally one of those shows that like anyone could watch. Yeah, it's just a goofy show. Yeah. Oh, we're talking about Rusan Sura. This character is from uh, that show. It's, yeah, they're the uh, quote unquote main character. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting a remake at the end of the year. Yeah, we didn't even know about it until someone mentioned it at a con. Uh, the one when we were in New Mexico. Yeah, I haven't even seen this trailer. There's like a little trailer or something. Damn. Yeah, let's see. It's just a little thing. Oh, it's just like them making the character or something, it looks like. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, it's not really too much. There's no motion or anything. Oh, wait, there's a little bit at the end there. But, yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like such a weird thing to go back to all of a sudden. That's why I was like, why is this coming out now? Yeah, I don't know. And there must be an anniversary, like you said, or they just are like, well, this hasn't been given a reboot in a while. This is a really yeah, funny show. Like, I know Takahashi got that Eisner Award a while back, so. Yeah. Which is funny. I, I don't know what it is. Anytime some they give an Eisner Award to um, someone from, like, you know, for manga, for a manga that's been yeah. out for forever, I'm like, what a fucking worthless thing to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, what does this even mean? Like, I understand that like it, it might mean something to the artist being uh, awarded that, yeah. but it feels like it's something um, kind of like you know, disingenuine. Disingenuous. It just, like, took so long, yeah, for yeah. this artist to receive their dues. Yeah, and then like also it's kind of annoying whenever it's like an like okay, so you know like how it's a very like american yeah uh, it's an american award award yeah. and like you know like it, it's like um you know treating something like they're a child it felt it feels very um patronizing mm, I got you. it's like oh look at you this really success this oh the small comic that you did look how good yeah, it is yeah you already have been you know the the highest the paying female uh, mangaka for like ever pretty much yeah the highest paid one, you know. Yeah, and then you also are still making work to the, you know. Yeah, this you're day. still making stuff. You have bangers, you know. Yeah, you haven't made a fucking bad like one yet. Like your stuff is still being turned into anime, you know. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, I, yeah, sure, man, thanks, I guess. But it just feels like, yeah, it feels very like, you know. Oh, I still love the picture of her with the Def Jam sweater on. Oh yeah, that's, that's my favorite thing ever. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's just one of those things where I look at that and I go. Yeah, I get it. You're being an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's meant to be like that, but... It just... That's why it comes with us. Because it can it, feel a little bit like that. It just feels disingenuous is all. Yeah. Especially when, you know, like... it, it Coming from... I, I can only imagine just because American... It, it's like with um, the, the Academy Awards. The Eisners are very much like the Academy Awards to me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know much about that award it's, thing. It's basically a popularity contest is mm-hmm. all it is. And I don't really like popularity contests. Because gotcha. it's not really about how good the book is most mm-hmm. of the time, at least from what I've seen. Like, uh, I think um, oh God, the sculptor by Scott McCloud won an Eisner, and mm-hmm. that book is fucking awful. I've never even heard of this book. So. It took the it took Scott McCloud seven years to make this book, and for it to just not be not be great, like. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay, well, that sucks. Because he's a really good artist, and he's got uh, he's the one who did the book, the Understanding Comics series that I always use, because he's because okay. he, he knows the medium. Mm-hmm. And you read this, and you're like, it's just kind of whiny, and like this this protagonist is not relatable, and I don't know if I'm supposed to not relate to this character, and that was the point. 
or like because it sounds because the way i was reading it i was like okay you want me to you seem to want me to care about this character mm -hmm. and you've made him unlikable gotcha and unrelatable and kind of whiny and kind of like you know the the peak of like someone who is just not understanding that they ha how good they have it or some shit like that you know oh yeah yeah, yeah. like one of those characters and you're like okay. you're like yeah, I'm not feeling this. Why are you doing this? Why would you why would you take seven years of your life to make something like this? Like that doesn't um connect with anybody. It just feels very self-indulgent even. Cause he was talk because he was talking about why it took so long was because he was constantly redoing pages over and over again. And that's a trap you should never get caught in. That is a tough one, yeah. Yeah, as an artist. And I was like, look, like, then that, that made it much worse is because he was talking about that, how he wanted to make it this, like, perfect thing. And I'm like, mm -hmm. ooh, buddy, um, oh, I hate to be the one to break to you. It's not great. It's just one of those things, I guess. I don't know. I just really, I think that um, he he can do better is where I was gotcha. at with that, Pete, with that particular series. Though I am sad, though. I don't think uh, when she won that Eisner, she didn't come over here to get it, did she? I doubt it. No, it was like during COVID. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, that's probably why it was given an Eisner is because they finally found it. They were like, man, I've been really just not finding anything to read. No one's <laughs> no one's made anything because of COVID. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to go look online, you know, look, look for some old bangers. That's funny. Yeah, it's like, that's how I can imagine it probably went down. Yeah, I have no idea. I just remember it was kind of like out of nowhere. Yeah. But I don't follow any of those awards or anything really, so. No, nah, I just only, the only reason I know most about this kind of stuff is because, again, it's my field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like movies, but I usually care more about old movies than new movies. So I don't even pay attention to new movies most of the time. Yeah. Because I'm just like, well, I've got, like, thousands of old movies that I need to watch instead. You know? Yeah. So, like, a newer movie, someone has to, like, you know, we have to all go... Someone has to invite me to the theater, basically. You know, like, when we all yeah. made plans to go watch The Batman? Yeah. That kind of thing? Like, yeah. I very rarely just would want to go watch a new movie by myself yeah it's usually like it takes a specific director or something like that yeah and even then i'll like, usually just like oh, i'll just watch it when i can bootleg it yeah pretty much because a lot of the time then like, i might just forget about it yeah or like uh certain times i'll just wait for it to become like something i can rent from the library mm-hmm yeah it's pretty rare for me to get excited about like a brand new movie yeah yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, because most of the films that come out don't really do anything that are, like, groundbreaking or, you know, there's not really any, like, story that's, like, very reflective of the time sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Because most films are just kind of there to, like, kind of, you know, distract and entertain. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, you know, they're they're there for you to go see in the theater and, you know, never watch again, you no, yeah, and I understand that there's a thing, and I just—it's not for me. I like uh, stuff that gives me something that I can like. Oh yeah, no, I've learned something from this. I feel like I have come out of this film uh, better for mm -hmm. seeing it than I would have been if I had not seen it. Yeah, I like the idea of you know I watch a movie and I think, man, I would watch this again. Yeah, definitely. You know, if but it's like like when we watched the Batman and we were kind of like, I would probably not watch this again. Yeah. Because it was so, one, it was so long. Yeah. And two, it's just like, you know, like it was a solid movie, but it's not like... Rewatchable. Yeah, I'm not like going to get anything new by watching it again. You know? Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, that was the thing, you know? Like, yeah. You might, you might see like one Easter egg or something you didn't see, or if you watch one of those Easter egg videos, you know, yeah. but... Oh, also, speaking of Easter eggs, a lot of people are saying that uh, uh, Star Wars is confirmed in uh, the new Kingdom Hearts game because of the trailer. Yeah, yeah, there's like a foot or something. Yeah, of, the AT-AT. Um, -AT. Yeah, an at, -at. <laughs> nah, nah, that's funny. That's what everyone calls them. I've never heard that. You've okay. never heard anyone call it that? No, not until just now. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I've definitely heard that plenty of times in my life. Yeah, I've only heard AT-AT. -AT. 
Yeah, no, you can say that, but you can also say an ad ad. Yeah, you can definitely say that. It's just never been something that's come up, and I think that's funny to hear. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. Um, so yeah. I mean, that's also another franchise I'm just not interested in anymore, so. Yeah, like, you know, it's fine. I'm just kind of... Yeah, I'm just not excited to go watch it or anything. Like... I don't know, you know, maybe if it was one of those, like, if The Mandalorian was, a, or not The Mandalorian, if the Boba Fett show was, like, a movie, maybe, yeah. you know, but I just don't want to spend all that time to watch a show. Yeah, same. At least not live. I don't know what it is. Something about, like, American live action shows is going to take a lot for me to be like, oh, maybe I will watch it, you know? Uh, <laughs> just because I, I, I haven't really seen it, like... One that I've enjoyed that much lately, I think. I don't that, really know. Maybe I'm... Nah, I don't know. I can agree with some of that that, that feeling. Yeah, it's just me being a weeb. That, that is probably a bit of it. Don't yeah. Uh, I would definitely believe that that's part of the reason why. Um, but, like, some of the films that are... Po- like, the shows that I... Okay, so... Shows that are popular here in America, the fo- people who follow those shows, I find them to be kind of annoying... Okay, I could get behind that thought process. Um, like when Game of Thrones is really big, and everyone's like, "Oh, you've got to see it. You've got to do this. You got to do that." That just kind of disincentivizes me from watching any of it. Because if everyone's going to tell me that it's something that's like I need to go see or things like that, it kind of like makes me like not want to. Because a lot of people who tell me, you know, their taste. Yeah, yeah. A lot, yeah. Of, a lot of people who tell me I need to go see, I know their taste, and their taste is pretty fucking abysmal usually. Um, you know, like his boy with like Eric and things like that when he was telling me like, oh yeah, don't go bother seeing the Batman. Yeah, it's it's like Eric thinks the Batman is bad. It's probably good. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel you on that. It's also gotta be like, well, why is everyone talking about it? You know, it's like, oh, because, you know, there's so much all this sex and violence and whatever. And I'm yeah. Like, but is the story good? You know? Yeah. And then it's like, oh, it's so shocking to see how violent and how, like, this... Like, bro, it's not that shocking. Like, yeah. Like, it's not even that, like, anime is more violent and all that. It's just that, like, I don't get my rocks off to violence. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I don't get my... Like, there's, I was there's... not one of those people who just loved the movie Hostile. Yeah. You know? Like... Like, no, it was... It was... I've seen it one time... I think i don't remember did we rent it did someone else rent it i don't remember but i remember i was just like why do people like this movie you know because like it was on and i'm just like why do people like this movie this is miserable to watch you know yeah it's one of those things where it's like yeah most people's like tastes i come to understand or feel whenever it comes to like most media or like why they're hyping up a piece of media is because of how like hypersexual, hyperviolent, and how it's pushing boundaries, quote-unquote. And I'm like, that doesn't interest me. Like, pushing boundaries in a way that I don't care for is not something I'm interested in. Yeah, if it's in a way I don't care for, you know... Uh, like I don't like, know. Oh man, no one's ever killed twenty thousand people on screen, you know, or whatever. Like yeah. like those eighties movies are trying to get the kill count higher and higher and higher. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like I'm not watching it for that. If I'm watching it, it's because it's so ridiculous and stupid because they were trying to do that. Yeah. That the movie is just ass. Other than that, you know. Yeah. Like that's how those movies are, where they're trying to make the kills more and more ridiculous. That's like the trap that horror films fell into. Yeah, in the slasher genre. Yeah, with Saw and all that. Uh, that's later, but oh, that's the, that, the, okay. So you're talking about that? I'm talking about like the initial wave yeah, of yeah. slasher films. No, I understand that. And like you know, like Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, you know, all the Jason movies. All, yeah, Friday the Thirteenth. That's the name of them. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Where it was about like how ridiculous of the kills you can get. All those, like, there, there's the vaguest excuse to get a bunch of horny teenagers alone somewhere and have someone kill them in ways that people haven't tried yet on screen. Yeah. Some of those. No, yeah. No, where I... there's, like, really no point in watching almost any of them, except for, like, very few of them. Yeah, because there's a few of them that do, uh, uh, like, that inspired somebody else to make a really good film. Yeah. So you're like, okay. Like, so you can watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, that one's good, you know? Yeah. That's doing some interesting stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, well, it's just even to say, some of them are just worth watching again for the, like, historical significance. Yeah. Uh, all I was to say, though, is, like, yeah, if, if you have things you like, you can totally like them, and I don't want to shame you for liking them. I just, I know what my tastes are, 
And I just know that most of the time when someone says something is cutting edge or if something mm-hmm. is pushing the envelope, I'm like, that's those are red flags to me now because of like how uh, they're used and like overutilized and yeah, everyone is like, yeah, this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh god, bro, but there are boobs in it. Yeah, there bro. are boobs in this movie. We have to watch it. That one. I just remember in high school, it was like anything with Jessica Alba in it. No, oh, god, yeah. Everyone was like, I gotta watch this Jessica Alba movie. I'm just like, why? And they're like, Jessica Alba is in it. And she's fucking hot. And I'm like, but this movie looks like shit. And they're like, but Jessica Alba is in it. You know? I mean, like, that's all right, man. It's cool. like, oh, okay, sure. You know, all right. Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to go watch it. Yeah, this is yeah, Jessica Alba, this girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was in, like, everything for, like, four years. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, why would I go waste my time watching this movie? I like to see Jessica Alba, you know? Like, what the fuck? I was like, you know pictures of Jessica Alba exist for free on the internet? Like... Yeah, Just move. normal ass photos, <laughs> but they don't move. Sure, they're not moving pictures of Jessica Alba. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you need to go take a shower. All right. Take it easy. We'll probably still be here. Yeah, I got, got about an hour left. And I got one more after this anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shampoo definitely won't take as long as this character. Mm-hmm. All the hair took for quite a while. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and do some of the highlights. You know. Mm-hmm. I want you to show me some moves. Mm-hmm. I don't even know a good movie Jessica Alba is in besides Idle Hands. That's tough, yeah. Maybe, like, I think she was in Sin City, and that movie was okay. Kind of? I can't remember, actually. The movie's all right. Yeah. It's a, like, that's one of those films that also, I think, does a really good job of... That's, like, a film that you would watch, not because it's a good movie, uh, but because it has a historical significance and type and how films could be made. Yeah. It was an interesting movie to watch, that's for sure, is how I would put that. Yes. Okay. I did not know Jessica Alba was in this movie. No, that's funny. Which movie? Camp Nowhere. <sighs> Remember with Christopher Lloyd? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica Alba is in this movie. Wow, that's wild. Yeah. It's like the first movie she's in. That's weird. Yeah. That's okay. Sure. Yeah. That's weird. I did not know that. I guess, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's so random. That is really random. <laughs> that's really funny, though. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I guess, I guess this, 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 this is real now, all right? Yeah, Idle Hands. That's actually like, a pretty good movie, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, Idle Hands? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said that's, like, the one good movie I know she's in. For yeah, like, no, I'm just remembering yeah. the movie. I'm like, holy shit, yeah. Like, yeah, no, that movie's actually good. Yeah, no, it's been a minute, you know, like, it's, yeah. like, it's coming back to you and me and Waves, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, that's right, it's good because of X, Y, and Z, you mm-hmm. know, no, like, you know, like, it's, uh, it's one of those things where you're, like, I'm, like, re-going through it, being, like, I remember I liked it, what was the reason I liked it, oh, yeah, that's because it was this, this, and this, and I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, it's pretty fucking funny, I remember it being really funny. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, not, not seeing much here. Um, yeah, no, 
No clue. She's going to be in a movie called Trigger Warning, apparently, though. Coming out this year or something, it says. It just says 2022. Mm. I was like, that seems like an interesting movie title. Um, yeah. Does it have a trailer? Or I don't know. I'm going to look it up. The only thing it says... Is this the right one? Yeah, Star Trek Alpha. It just says, A traumatized veteran who inherits her grandfather's bar and faces a moral dilemma after learning the truth behind his untimely death. Hmm. That doesn't seem like a film I'd be interested in, depending on, like, how it's done. I want to see the trailer, at least. You know? Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure, you know... Yeah, I don't know. It definitely doesn't. Yeah, that it, I got nothing. It doesn't. Got nothing it, about that. it doesn't inspire confidence. Let's yeah, just say. it just makes me think like, huh, that's a movie, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I don't. I don't really know anything else about it. Like I said, if there was a trailer, I don't see a trailer for it, or maybe I'm missing it, but I didn't see one. At least not on IMDb, which usually any sort of trailer is linked to there. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. But yeah, um, at least in my opinion, I would say Idle Hands is the, the Idle Hands is probably the only movie I enjoyed she was in. I think aside from like Sin City, um, that's probably about it. Because both of these Fantastic Four movies were shit. Oh yeah, uh, which sucked because I actually loved the Fantastic Four when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, and watching that movie, I was incredibly fucking disappointed. Yeah, I remember that movie came out on my birthday. Oh damn! The Silver Surfer. Ouch. In particular, and I was like, "Oh, the second one? Yeah. Oh, that's even worse." I know. Holy shit! I know. Bro, I know. So we went to go see it, and we we're like, "Well, that first one was like whatever, but you know, maybe they can do something interesting because the Silver Surfer is such a cool character." I didn't even watch that movie. It just looks so bad. Like I just know it's bad. Like I've seen little bits of it and stuff and reviews, and I'm just like, "Man, I'm feeling so bad for you right now." No, I know it's funny too. That's the year without a birthday. Yeah, no. <laughs> like... I, another birthday, I remember they took me to see At World's End. Which one was that one? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, 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 I've never seen that one. I just know it's not good. It's not. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, just, I mean, like, yeah. If you like, if it, like, if you don't mind that the plot makes no sense for Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, mm-hmm. it is an okay film to just turn your brain off and just be like, oh yes, pirates. I like pirates. Gotcha. This was the movie that everyone was super thirsty to go see Jessica Alba in. Into the Blue. Oh. I just... I just That I don't, movie? I don't even know what this movie was about. I just... I didn't even remember that Paul Walker was in it. I just remember everyone wanted to go see it because Jessica Alba is wearing a bikini. That was it. I was just like, what the fuck, man? You're really gonna go spend money and waste your time to go see this? Yeah, dude. It's like, this movie looks terrible. It was. Like, but Jessica Alba is in it. It's like Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like Muhammad with Jared Leto. Yeah. Jared Leto's in the movie he'll go see. He probably oh, that was me bumping the shit out of that camera. He probably bought out the whole theater to go see Morpheus. Oh so yeah. I guess. Easily. Easily. I did not remember that Jessica Alba plays herself in Knocked Up. That's pretty funny. Yeah. That's she right. must have like a random cameo. It says uncredited cameo. That's really funny. Uh, I had totally forgot that she was in that fucking awful movie with Dane Cook. What? Oh, God. Good luck, Chuck. Good luck, Chuck. Yep. I remember that, that movie. That movie is fucking terrible. That movie is rough. That movie is bad. And then his other movie, what was that? Employee of the Month? Employee of the Month, yep. That movie was fucking terrible, too, man. And it's sad because, like, his stand up was pretty funny at the time. Oh, yeah. And then, like, the movies, he, when he tried to get into film, man, that was, like, the beginning of the end for him. Yeah, I should have just stayed in his lane. Right? This did not go well. Those two excursions into film, they did not go well. Yeah, and I forgot that Jessica Alba was in the American remake of The Eye. 
Oh yeah. The one where the girl gets the eye transplant. Yeah. And you see ghosts. Yeah. That's a that was that was, that was a terrible rem- uh, uh, adaptation if I remember correctly. I never saw it because it looked so bad, and also I was just like, why would I watch this? The only, the only one that's even semi decent is The Ring, and even then, it's not good. No. Like that movie is nowhere near good compared to the original one. Like, what? Like, I absolutely every time I think of the tape from the American one, I think of just how much I hate it <laughs> because it has so much extra shit added into it for no reason to make it more like a weird art house kind of thing or something. Yeah, because there's like the shot of the centipede and like a ladder and like stupid shit, and they're just like. What they put mean? that in the movie later, you know, and it's like, oh my god, there was a centipede on the floor, you know, <laughs> just like in the video, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh my god, there's a ladder, <laughs> just like in the video, you know, I'm like, bro, y'all are going a little too ham on this, like, the the video, the Japanese video has some clues, it's not a perfect, it's not like a million clues that are really dumb like this, because <laughs> I had never seen the Japanese one before seeing that one. And so when I watched the Japanese one, I was just like, holy shit, this is so much better. <laughs> it's like, this tape is so much better. It's like half the time, and it's way creepier. Yeah. It's way more It's way more terrifying. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Also in the Japanese movie, it's implied that the mom totally banged some sea demons. Totally, yeah. She totally did. So... Okay. Took me a second. I needed to like back up. It's like one of those pictures that you look too close at it for too long. Yeah, so. I didn't know if you needed like a line to separate her leg from her arm there. Oh yeah, there. Her thigh. I did have the. I was going in there and then I got distracted by something else. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. Yeah. I was but trying... um. Okay. There we go. Also, the mom jumped into a volcano to commit suicide. That's way more. Oh, hold on. Put it back down. Let's do a little zoom in. That's nice. Just want to zoom in on it a little bit. Look at that face. That is a good face. Very cute. Yes. Plum Invader. Rusetsura, or yeah. as we Peter like to... is their last name. Yes. But I always forget. <laughs> which is just like how Lloyd's, uh, the, the Twilight's last name is Forger. Yeah, which is funny. Yeah, his alias is Forger. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's Forger daily. I did like that. I always liked that. 